chapter number 15 our improvement we have ha heard the word improvement often being used in the newspapers television and by people around us our elders used to say about the improvement that the improvement is not what is used to be earlier others tell that we should work at a life in healthy improvement and global summits consisting the developed and developing countries are regularly held to talk about environmental uses in this chapter we shall be learning how various components in the environment, environment interact or interact, in, interrelated, interrelated with each other and how we affect the uh, environment ecosystem, what are its components, all organizations such as plants, microorganisms, animals and human beings as well as uh, the physical surroundings interact with, with one other, another and maintain a balance in nature. All the interacting living being uh, living being in an area together with with the non living are constituents of the environment environment comprise an ecosystem. Thus, an ecosystem includes an ecosystem includes bi biotomic biotic biotic components compressing compressing living organizations and abiotic components compressing compressing physical factors like temperature like temperature, wind rainfall, wind rainfall, soil uh, and minerals. For example. For example, if you visit a garden, you will find various kinds of plants such as trees, grasses, flower bearing, flower bearing plants like rose, sunflower, jasmine, and animals like like forgus, birds, and insects. All these living organizations interact with with each other, and their reproduction, growth, and uh, other activities are affected by the atomic uh, by the components of ecosystem. So a garden, so a garden forest, so a garden is a, a small ecosystem. Other types of ecosystems are forest, lakes, and ponds. These are natural ecosystems. So while crop of fields and gardens are human-made artificial ecosystems. Ecosystems. So we have we have seen we have seen in previous classes that organizations can be can be grouped as producers, decomposers, and consumers according to the manner manner in which they get their substances from the environment. Let us recall what we have studied through the self-sustaining ecosystem created by us above, which organizations can from organic compounds such as sugar and starch from inorganic substances with the help of the radiant energy of the sun in the presence of chlorophyll, all green plants and uh, and certain bacteria which can synthesize food by photosynthesis can under come under this category and known as producers. Organizations depends on the producers either indirectly or indirectly directly for their sustenance. Sustenance. These organizations which are which use the food produced either directly from producers or indirectly by feeding on other lower consumers are the consumers. Consumers are consumers can be classified as herbivores, carnivores, parasites, and omnivores. Can you give example examples for each of these categories of consumers? Consider the situation where you do not clean the agrobarium and uh, some plants and fishers have died dead. Have you ever thought uh, what occurs when an organization diets the microorganisms compressing bacteria and fungi break down the waste products and dead remains of organizations? So these microorganisms are the decomposers as they are spilled. A spilt down the complex organic substances into simple inorganic substances that reach to the soil and are used up one and once more by the plants. What will happen to the garbage and dead natural uh, replacement of the soil occur even if uh, decomposers are not uh, present there? Food chains and webs. In activity 2, we have uh, made a series of organizations. Organizations feeding on one another. This series or organizations are taking part at a different biotic levels make a food chain. Chain each level or step of the food chain forms a trophic level. The products the producers the produce or the autotrophs are at the first trophic level. They fix up the solar energy and make its availability for autotrophs or the consumers, the primary consumers or the heavy words can come at the second level a small carnivores or the second consumers at the third level and uh, third level and larger uh, carnivores or the territory consumers make uh, the fourth uh, trophic level we know that we know that the food that uh, food uh, the food that we eat acts as a fuel to give give us energy to do work 
दस द इंट्रेक्शन एमोंग द डिफरेंट एमोंग द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इन्वेंट इंक्लूड इंक्लूड फ्लो ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम वन कंपोनेंट ऑफ वन कंपोनेंट टू अनदर ऑफ द सिस्टम As we have studied, the autotrophs capture the energy from the sunlight and change it it into chemical uh, chemical energy. This energy supports all the functioning of the living world. From from autotrophs, the energy goes to the decomposers and heterotrophs. However, as we saw as we saw in the earlier chapter on sources of energy, when one form of energy is converted into another form, some energy is lost to the environment in forms which cannot be used again the flow of energy between different components components of the environment has been extensively read and it has been found that the green plants in a terrestrial ecosystem uh, ecosystem get about 1% of energy of sunlight that reaches to their leaves and convert it into food energy when when green plants are eaten by primary consumers a lot of energy is lost as heat to the environment some amount of this energy goes in doing work and 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 uh, reproduction as an average of 10% of the food eaten is changed into its own body and made available for the next level of consumers hence 10% can be taken as the average value value for the amount of organic matter that is uh, that that is present at each trophic level and reaches reaches the next level of consumers since very less energy is available for the next level of a consumers of food chains normally consist of only three or four steps or levels the loss of energy loss of energy at rich level it is so great that a very little amount of uh, as well energy remains after four trophic four trophic levels usually a greater usually a greater number of individuals are present in the lower trophic levels of an ecosystem producers producers are in the greatest greatest number the complete uh, complexity complexity and length of food of food chains very greatly very greatly each organizations each usually eaten by two or more other kinds of kinds of organizations which in turn are are eaten by several other organizations so so instead of a straight line straight line so straight line food chain the relationship can be represented as a series of branching lines known as a food web two things become clear from the web the uh, web uh, uh, from the above energy to a flow diagram firstly the flow of energy is in is in unit in directional the energy that is gained by the autotrophs does not go back to the solar input and the and the and the, and the back to autotrophs as it moves progressively through the different trophic levels it is no longer available to the previous level another amazing aspect of a food chain is how unknowing and knowing some dangerous and harmful chemicals enter how our bodies across the food chain you have studied in class 9 how water becomes polluted one uh, one of the reason one of the reasons is the use of various pesticides and other chemicals to save our crops from pest pests our and dices which chemicals are either wasted down into the water bodies or into the soil from the soil they get absorbed by the plants along with the minerals and water and from the water bodies which are taken up by aquatic up by aquatic animals and plants this is one of the waves in which they enter the food chain as the as these chemicals are known non degradable these get progressively accumulated at each trophic trophic level as human beings attain the top level in any food any food chain the maximum concentration of these chemicals get gathered in our body this phenomena is called it's called as biological magnification biological magnification this is the reason why our why, why our food grains like rice and wheat vegetables vegetables and fruits and even meat have different have different amounts of pesticides residues they cannot always be removed by washing or by other webs or by other webs how do our activities how do our activities affect the environment we are an integral part of the environment changes in the in the environment and have an impact have an impact on us and our activities change the environment we have already studied in class 9 how our daily activities pollute the environment in this chapter we shall be studying about two or the two of the environmental problems 
problems in detail that is waste disposal and uh, depletion of the ozone layer ozone layer and how it is getting depleted depleted ozone o3 is a molecule produced by three atoms of oxygen while o2 which we generally refer to as oxygen is important for all aerobic forms forms of life ozone is deadly poison however at the higher levels of the atmosphere ozone performs an important function function it covers and protects the surface the surface of the earth from from ultra ultra ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun the radiation the radiation is a highly dangerous for organisms for example it is known to cause skin cancer in humans at at the higher at the higher levels of the atmosphere ozone is a product of uv radiation acting on acting on oxygen o2 molecule the higher energy uv radiations break apart some molecular oxygen o2 into into free oxygen or atoms which atoms then combine with the oxygen molecule to to form ozone as so alongside so alongside the amount of ozone in the air begin to drop sharply in the 1980 1900 1980 uh, this decrease has been related to the synthetic chemicals like chloro chloro uh, chloro uh, fluorocarbons cb cfcs which are used in fire extinguishers and as refrigerants the united nationals nations the united nations environment program uadp succeeded in forgetting forging an agreement an agreement uh, uh, to fridge cfc for, uh, for all the manufacturing compa- companies uh, to make a cfc free refrigerators uh, throughout the world uh, meaning the garbage uh, we produce uh, in our daily daily activities we produce a lot of uh, materials uh, that are through away uh, what are some of these waste materials what occurs with them after we through them away uh, let us uh, perform an activity to trace the answers of these questions we have studied in the chapter on life process that uh, the food we, we eat is digested by different enzymes. In our daily life, have you ever surprised why the sum uh, enzyme does not spill down everything that we eat? Enzymes are specific in their action. A specific, a specific enzymes are required for the breakdown of a specific of a specific substance. That is why we will not obtain any energy if we try to uh, try to. Uh, to eat the coil because of this many human made materials such as plastics will not be splitted or down by the action by the action of a bacteria or other uh, separate uh, saprophytic organizations so these materials will be acted upon by physical process such uh, such uh, as heat and pressure but uh, under the desired conditions found in our environment uh, this exit for a long time Substances that are broken down by various uh, biological processes are called to be biodegradable. Uh, how many of the substances that you buried were um, were biodegradable? Biodegradable. Buried biodegradable substances that are not uh, aspirated down. Aspirated down in this manner are said to be non biodegradable. Ditch. This type of substances many by inert and simplify pressed in the environment for a long period of time or may harm the different members of the ecosystem. Visit any town or city and we are definitely, definitely, definitely find heaps of garbage mostly all over the place. Visit any of tourist interest, interest place and we, we are sure that you will uh, you will definitely find the place uh, littered with uh, empty food wrappers in the previous classes we have discussed about this problem of dealing with the garbage with the garbage that we uh, that we produce uh, let us now see the problem a bit uh, more deeply improvements in our daily life and uh, in our life uh, uh, style have uh, resulted in the generation of uh, greater amounts of waste material changes in altitude in altitude also play a role with uh, more and uh, more atoms we use becoming dispersion change in packing have caused which uh, much of our waste uh, becoming becoming non biodegradable uh, what do you think will be the effect of this uh, our environment our environment